Hi there. If you don't know, my name is Marquis. I have a Master of Business Administration degree and I went to school so you didn't have to. Okay, this is completely off topic, but I just have to say, I put my hair in a ponytail, one ponytail. Why am I excited about that? Well, next month will be a year since I cut off my nine-year-old locks, which were way down here, okay? So, so after a year, I can finally put my hair in one ponytail. I'm so excited, but anyway, um, let me get to what I want to talk about today. So today I want to talk to you about how important it is to know your customers and the best way to get to know your customers is to monitor their consumer behavior. Um, there's a professional marketing research firm, possibly the largest in the world called Nielsen, N-I-E-L-S-O-N, -E -E okay? Nielsen um, is so large that it's able to send money to people to incentivize them to take a survey. The reason why the surveys are important is because it enables uh, companies to continuously improve their businesses over time for longevity. If you don't continuously improve over time, your business will be made irrelevant. May not happen in a year, may not happen in 10 years, may not happen in 20, but Circuit City is no longer in business, okay? A lot of you probably don't even know what Circuit City is, okay? They are no longer in business. They didn't want to change. Blockbuster, another company, no longer in business. They didn't want to change. How did they not see Netflix coming? How did they not see Redbox coming? Because they did not engage in continuous improvement, knowing what their customers want, knowing what's available out there. So technology is a big uh, disruptor too. It disrupts a lot of industries, okay? Um, you need to be aware of anything that can come and disrupt the industry you operate in, all right? And the only way you can do that is by continuing to do marketing research every single year for the life of your business. And when I say every single year, I don't mean you do it once per year, no. I mean you collect and aggregate data over a year and you analyze that data, all right? So as you're analyzing the data, you're aggregating it, I'm sorry, as you're aggregating the data, and then you're reviewing the data over a period, over your period, I could talk today, over a period of time, you should see trends. Either you should see things trending upward or trending downward. What are your customers spending most of their money on? What are they spending the least amount of money on? If they're spending, if there's something that you keep on the shelf and it's not selling well, you need, you need to either improve that product or service or get rid of it entirely, okay? We don't want we don't want our customers to be distracted by things that 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 do not add value to our business okay so yeah you have to always um keep a pulse on how your customers are feeling and doing okay bye